I now realize that I was wrong, and it's time that we purge the books of many of our town's outdated and obscure laws. The bill that I have written with the full support of the city council will repeal 110 obsolete laws, such as all menstruating women shall be confined to their bathtubs and Article 2, a.k.a. Ted Party Day. The floor is now open for public comments. Oh, well, here we go. Thank you. My name is Garth Blunden, and I object to your ridiculous proposal. Uh, the Pawnee Charter uh, shall not be changed, not today, not ever. Wow, a lot of passion, Mr. Blunden. Thank you so much. Your objection is noted and officially in the record. Shall we proceed to a No, vote? no, we shall not. Article 7, Section 3 allows for a citizen filibuster. If I stand here and refuse to yield my time, you are prohibited from voting on the bill. That section defines buffalo meat as acceptable currency. Is that the buffalo meat one? Mm -hmm. I meant Article 3, Section 7. <clears throat> Let the filibustering begin. I would now like to share some ideas I have for J.J. Abrams' seventh chapter in the Star Wars saga. Pan down from the twin sons of Tatooine, we are now close on the mouth of the Sarlacc pit. After a beat, the gloved Mandalorian armor gauntlet of Boba Fett grabs onto the sand outside the Sarlacc pit, and the feared bounty hunter pulls himself from the maw of the sand beast. Then uh, he is right. He can do this. This is exactly why we need to modernize these laws. This kind of thing made sense when we had council in a barn and there were 80 people in the town, but but now this is nuts. If he holds the reality gem. That means he can jump from different realities. This will be our link to the Marvel Universe from the Star Wars Universe. Imagine those two going up against Robot Chewbacca, because that's gonna happen. After a beat, Luke says, Darth Vader was my father, but Ben Kenobi was my master, and he cuts Hannibal Lecter in half. Mr. Blunden, look, the laws I am trying to get rid of have no more relevance in modern society, and they're embarrassing to Pawnee. Repealing them would show that we're changing with the times. You can't just change the charter willy-nilly. You start by casually repealing a couple of old laws. The next thing you know, your jackbooted stormtroopers are kicking in my door and arresting my wife for no reason if I were married. By jackbooted stormtroopers, you mean the Pawnee Police Department? Hey, Clyde. Hi, Leslie. Good Danish today. The Pawnee Charter is not a living document, Ms. Nope. You have no respect for the traditions of this town. I Absolutely do. I used to give tours at the Pawnee Historical House. Three times employee of the fortnight. Oh, big deal. You put on a costume for a couple hours? By that logic, every time I go to bed at night, I am Wolverine. You bought X-Men pajamas? I won them, madam, in a raffle. Okay, the point is, is that our founding fathers were brilliant and they were courageous, but they also had wooden teeth and pooped in holes <laughs> in the ground. It was a more primitive time. It was a better time. <laughs> You wouldn't have survived two weeks in their day. Oh, really? How about a little wager? How about you and I go live in that historical house? No modern technology, 1817 rules. You last longer, I withdraw my bill. I win, you stop this nonsense. <laughs> you have yourself a deal.